In this demonstration, I will show how process engineers can predict product quality using Prophecy CSense. With the CSense troubleshooter, I can easily connect to our historian data to load in uh, sensor readings recorded over time. Um, I can also easily uh, connect to our laboratory quality information systems um, and uh, load uh, quality data for the various parts that we have manufactured. I can easily combine those data sets together and provide operational context to CSense, namely identify the target or output variable as the defect which we want to um, try to predict. We are making various types of engine parts on various machines using various tools, and we are managing a variety of process adjustable controllable variables in our process sensor readings in order to uh, maintain a good production and make good quality product. Once I've loaded in this data set, I can use machine learning models in CSense to try to predict, the, see if I can predict uh, the product quality with sufficient accuracy using available data. I'm going to use all the adjustable input variables in our process to try to see how accurately I can predict um, product quality. I can quickly see that I can predict um, poor visual defects around about three out of four accurately with a, about a 72, 73% accuracy. And good parts I can predict with a, in this case, a nine out of 10 accuracy. Let's iterate on that and see if we can get a model that can do it any better. Right, here I have a better prediction. Now I'm up to about 85%, close to 90, so close to nine out of 10 accurate prediction of defects around eight out of 10 accurate prediction of uh, good parts. Once I'm happy with this model or the accuracy of the model, I can now deploy it to the CSense architect. I have a drag and drop analytics development and testing environment where I can develop and test analytics on historical data before I deploy them permanently into production. Here is our model that we have uh, created in a few clicks and I can view the accuracy with which this model can predict. I can link it up with uh, real-time information, real-time inputs coming from the process and publish the predictions um, with OPC to external systems. Once I've configured this analytic, I can deploy it to run permanently in the season's runtime. Read the process inputs in real-time from OPC, from our control systems, make real-time predictions of product quality that that it publishes out again via OPC so that external systems like our DCS or SCADAS can display that and we can use that to manage quality of uh, our defects in real time and potentially um, test in a more targeted way product quality and maybe reducing the test burden on our laboratories while still maintaining an accurate uh, defect rate or, a, or an acceptable defect rate. Here I am showing uh, how I can um, external third party systems, for example, this metric on OPC client can read um, and display the published prediction. So here we are making parts with the part number, the machine we are making out and the associated prediction. What this means is only parts where this prediction shows that it will be a defect we can potentially choose to send to the lab for testing in a much more targeted way and maintain acceptable defect rates while reducing the testing burden on laboratories and enabling real-time quality management. In this demonstration, I showed how process engineers can predict product quality uh, using machine learning with Prophecy CSense in real time.